Okay, welcome to the grand final of the Nolans Reserve Touch League. The old firm captain, Hayden Bushell, with the uh, Brad Cass, the fill-in captain for Jacob Campbell. And we're about to get underway in these exciting new NRL touch rules for, uh, in this final game. The old firm will be kicking off. Half time will be at, um, we'll make it um, 6.26, Daniel. And there goes, 6.27, make it, yeah. And there goes the kickoff. Deep down, we were having have posts today, which would have made this the first ever game of touch played with goal posts. Um, but we have got a lot of different rules, a lot of kicking, 40-20s, Ryan dropouts. Here comes Nick Delaney, he gets it on to um, Cohen. Cohen, he's brought down by uh, Aiden Bushell just inside his own half. Delaney on to um, uh, Cass. I'll get them mixed up, Cass and Cohen. Love John to dummy half. Here goes Delaney, he's a dangerous play. Puts a little grubber in, it's a nice grubber. It's going to pull up in the end goal. It could be a try, it is! I think it's a try, is it? It is a try. Oh, what a start. Well, Joel Lewis, I think that was his first touch of the ball. First touch of the ball. And he scored in the corner. So I'll try in just the second minute of the game, or was the first minute, first set. Push with a dummy half. He's been out all season. The old firm looking a little bit disjointed early on. There's Jack McGee. He's been one of the stars of the season. He's his old man guy, gets it back to Jack. He looks uh, inside for Hayden. It goes out to um, Gubbo. Josh right to dummy half. Under Jack McKee. Gets it out to Hayden Bushell. Hayden Bushell looks around. He'll put a little kick in, a little dinky one for the whole coal train. But he's unable to take it. So JHR now to work it out from their own area. And they're looking the more um, assertive side early on. Quick hands. And it goes out the wide there, and Delaney almost got, got away. He's the one who set up the try with the kick. 1 0 to the HR. There goes the switch back. The ball's still alive. And the referee, Peter Sky, is calling a handover, I think. No, it's saying he was touched. It was touched by an old firm player, so another opportunity here for DHR. 19 minutes to go till half time. We did start a little late. Here goes the new man, Joel Lewis. That's his second touch. First time he hasn't scored. Delaney. Oh, it's a loose one. That's the old firm needed that. They need a bit of ball. Hayden Bushel with his first uh, little run there. I missed it because I was picking up the uh, the kicking tee. Here's McGee. Back to um, Coltrane. The old firm. Can they get their attacking uh, house in order? And here goes the kick from McGee, but it's uh, blocked there. It's play on. That's six to go. Uh, six to go. And these new rules and... I think he might have snuck over there, McGee. He has. This, no, he hasn't. No, they've called him, called him up. I'm not sure uh, why there was a handover. He goes, uh, Cohen. Couldn't get around Josh Wright. Delaney, he's looked dangerous early. Joel Lewis, what a great debut so far. He didn't use his foot to play the ball. And Peter, it's Peter Sky, the referee, will be very harsh on that. This being a, a final after all. McGee now looking around, what will he do? It's only the first, and allowed to kick until the fourth or the fifth, or after the fourth or the fifth. Guy McGee takes it to the line. He comes Dancing Pete, the legendary Dancing Pete, in the 32nd season of his career for the old firm. McGee, oh, he, it's a difficult one away. Oh, he's gone out the side there! No! Hayden couldn't quite bring it in. Oh, 
So again, uh, Cohen's looking very dangerous. Uh, he's getting him good yards. And Joel Lewis, he certainly knows what he's doing. Love John, he's been one of the stars for GHR this season. Delaney. Vance Hammond's probably the one to watch. He's there, it's Beadman. Love John. Oh, he's gone out the back. That was nicely worked. Here we go, a kick again. Wright's going back. And it bounces nicely for McGee. He's got a bit of open space here. What will he do with it? Not much on that occasion. Coltrane to dummy half. Coltrane to dummy half. He looks for Dancing Pete. Dancing Pete with his 96,000th hit up of his career. Oh, slips a nice one-handed ball away to Josh Wright. A bit late to dummy half, but he gets it away. Here comes... Um, here comes Jack McGee, Jack McGee. Oh, there's problems here for the old firm. They're not getting to their dummy half in time. So GHR, chance to extend their lead. There is no other version of touch football which is more like rugby league than this version you're seeing in front of you at the moment. Oh, there's a nice little netball pass from Hammond. Delaney plays it only a few metres out. There goes a long ball out to Lewis, the try scorer. There goes the grubber kick on the last. Can he get trapped in there? McGee wants it to go dead. I don't think it's, I think it has gone dead. And that'll be a 20 metre tap. Yeah. We took the 20 metre tap at the 10 metre, but uh, so we have actually modified the side, the side of the ground. <laughs> oh, he goes Jack with a chip. It's nice. And that's a touch by, um, by Cohen. And that'll be a six again to the old firm, I think. Oh, he steps in nicely. Not bad for his first game of the season. Here goes McGee. McGee sends it back to his old man. Pete, Pete was sitting in the hole there, but he got into dummy half nicely. Accidental offside. He wraps up the Delaney on his own quarter line. Love John. Here's a man, Hammond. I don't want to give him any space. Dancing Pete does very well, the veteran. Magnificent guts and determination, and that brings an error too. And Dancing Pete will sub off, but thanks to that. The coal train. Aiden looking on the blind. We only have six aside. We would have seven if um, we had enough players, if, if DHR. But I think everyone's happy to have one sub. We've, got, we've actually got seven DHR, eight old firm players here at the moment. And there's Daniel, my son, and the timekeeper. So, hand over here again. The old firm's attack, not really uh, a well old machine at the moment. Lewis, he's impressed in his first few minutes. Oh, another loose pass, though. And it'll be a handover. The old firm missing Brad Aranelli. If... Oh, here's a nice wraparound from Gibbo. Gibbo, he's looking back. He, he flick passes it to uh, Bushel, and Bushel will play it on the um, 40 metre line. Josh Wright, nice run, and he offloads as well. One nil to GHR. Still about, coming up to the, about the midway point of the first half. Is Hayden Bushel. We do see tight games, usually up to half time, and then the things might open up a bit in the second stanza. Oh, there's a nice grubber. This one's a nice one. Did he get it down? He's saying that hasn't been grounded. Well, that was tight. Great effort. We'll have to look back on that on video. But uh, McGee is not complaining about the decision of the referee. In fact, that probably should be a 20 metre tap. Um... Oh, here's an opening for Glove John. Oh, McGee saves, Guy McGee saves the day. 
I think he would have been accused of bludging on the blonde side there, but he was he was in the right spot at the right time. The big uh, Cronulla number one. Oh, he's a late kick, a late kick. McGee's again got to go and do the clean-up work, and he does it very well, but then he's slammed into the ground by um, Brad Cass. McGee here, bit of room. Russ Wright's come around him. Goes right again. Hayden's uh, hanging around on. Oh, he's thinking about a trick or two. Very tricky player. It's the last. They want to get their kick in here. Oh, nope. He's played it off the mark. So, an opportunity missed for the old firm to get to their kick and get it down into the uh, GHR territory. Here's an opportunity for Love John. Big chance here for JHR. It's the last tackle though, I think. Or did... here comes the kick. It's a nice little kick and that'll be a 20 metre tap. 20 metres. So Guy McGee takes it in the end goal, and that's taking a bomb, and that's a 20 metre tap, and he does it very well. Oh, nice switch around there to Josh Wright. Oh, again, he's played it off the mark. Here's uh, Shane Wise, I think it is. I'll have to check his name. He's been out for a couple of weeks. Delaney. The Tides have played four games in the lead up to this. Uh, one win each and two draws. If there's a draw in this game, technically the old firm will win on four and against by one. Okay. So that... 10 minutes to go to half time. The old firm working it out here again. Not organised at dummy half. And again. Failed to get to their kick. Hayden. Why has Hayden not gone, got in there and taken control and kicked a 40 20? That was a big opportunity there late in the tackle count. They come to HR. Oh, almost. But Pete got his man. Hammond, they don't want him to get into open space. Right up on the line here. There's a good step. Josh Wright's got his man. You don't really want markers this close to the line. Here's pressure. Oh, that's a great pass. And Love John will score. Try time. Love John has scored. 2 0 to GHR. Eight minutes to go till half time. 2 0 to GHR. The old firm probably came in as very slight favourites, but they've uh, met a very firm resistance here from the team in black. Delaney. Delaney. Here goes Cohen. Oh no, that's Cass in fact. I get Cohen and Cass mixed up. I don't know why. Here goes um, Cohen again and he's in open space, but the pass has gone astray. <laughs> anyway. I, oh, so I'm getting you and Cal I'm still getting you mixed up. Oh. So yeah, I'm still getting Cohen and Cass mixed up. It's Cass who's out there at the moment. So a bit of a movement of the ball from the old firm. Still about five or six to go till half time. Just right. There hasn't been a lot of planning for a 40-20, but they've at least got to get their kick, get to their kick. And there goes Hayden now. He gets to the kick. It is a uh, good kick. Probably would have liked a few extra metres on it. He'll do well to get Hammond, though. And Hammond's away from one. Hammond's away from two. And Gibbo's there to meet him. We have an injury, do we? A sub. We need a sub. 
and they're broken free. Hammond, Hammond, can McGee get him? McGee shows him the sideline. Great work from McGee. Guy McGee having a very strong game. Delaney, love John, love John for the line. Delaney, the long ball, the cutout for Joe Lewis. Jo Joel Lewis, but he <laughs> couldn't quite maintain his footing and Coltrane was there. Love John again looking for his second. All hands on deck for the old firm. Lewis, he gets in the rail behind the defence and I think he scored. Yes, Delaney has scored. Delaney has scored and it's 3-0. So the old firm now. A bit shell-shocked at the moment. There goes the kick from uh, Danny Isles. Oh, a bit of a um, bubble there from, I think that's Shane Wise. Is wise. Oh, good run. A good pass too, but it'll go to ground. Do you want to just throw that kicking tee off? And another error in the play of the ball. It's fair to say Peter is a much more efficient referee than I was. I let him get away with too much. So Hammond. Scored three tries in one of the earlier season games. He's wise. He's Joel Lewis. He's been very impressive on debut. He looks like he's got a really good football brain. Maybe not the quickest player in the comp. Oh, and that's good work from Gibson. I don't think this game, despite being the final, has reached great heights. But uh, there's still plenty of time to go. It hopefully will open up. Certainly Hayden Bush was one to watch if he gets into the groove. But he's a bit out of practice. Oh, nice offload from uh, Josh Wright. He's got to get that away, he does. What will Hayden do? He's got a wrapper. reasons we're playing these rules we want to slow it down a bit make it rely more on skill and on just mere running and fitness ability and open it up to a broader range of players such as that balding man playing the ball there and the grey-headed man who was Mark and he's away Evans away they won't catch him they won't catch him and GHR running away with this grand final it's four to nil well that uh, oh there's a nice short kick off and oh good pressure from Gibbo and uh, they get a result, the old firm. Things are looking grim for the old firm, but they do have a couple of very star players in Jack McGee and uh, Hayden Bushell in particular. Here's an opportunity. There's a long ball, but uh, knocked into the end goal. The old firm will retain possession. That's it. Point in. Goes back to McGee. Gibbo, who's been good. Dummy to kick it. Oh, I don't think he can this early in the tackle count. He goes McGee. And Josh Wright's put it down. Probably not as happy a game as he had in his uh, debut game where he did score a try. He's delaying now. He's been very impressive in his return. Cass. Cohen the dummy half. I think I've got them right this time. I think. Cohen. Delaney running straight into a big hole. Oh, he's away. They're carving them up. They are carving them up. It's 5-0. Well, 5-0 in the shadows of half time. Who could go any minute? Unfortunately, digital clocks don't have a second hand on them. I'll just have time to get this kick away, I would think. Oh, the ball's fallen off. Everyone's waiting on the timekeeper. <laughs> and here it goes, another beautiful dropout. Oh, it's gone down the full. Well, that's the risk you take. And that'll be half time after the penalty. So, what can they do? They can't kick the ball, unfortunately, because of our only tackle on this, uh, only kick on the last two. Oh, he has a bit of a run. But there it is, JHR 5, 
lead the Old Firm nil in a comprehensive first half performance. The Old Firm had a lot of work to do. It would take a miracle to come back from here. And they just want to, at this stage, avoid their biggest ever loss, I imagine, which is 11-1. OK, back for the second half now. 5-0 to GHR. I guess correction, the Old Firm's biggest loss in the 30-year history of the Old Firm is 11 points. There goes the kickoff. It's going to land, and Hayden gets it off the first bounce. And the Old Firm, they want to start better than they did in the first half. They really need to get up the other end. Oh, nice handoff. Nice... Uh, uh, exchange of passes. Josh probably uh, would be a very good idea to go second, uh, go dummy half. Here's Hayden on the wrap. Back to Josh. That's a bit of yards from the old firm. They've made it to the halfway. Oh, the pass. It was um, ambitious. The idea was good though. If he could have got it to McGee, McGee's the one that Bushel will want to get into space. Probably a shame he hasn't seen more of Jack play, and I didn't have a proper talk to him at half time. Actually, that's not Shane Wise, that's Chris McMaster, has played previously. Very solid forward player for the uh, GHR accounting side. McMaster turns it back to um, Cohen. Cohen, he's away from uh, Coltrane. McMaster. Oh, it's a nice little stab kick, but it will be taken, and that will be a um, the quarter line. Yeah, that'll be a quarter line uh, tap for the old firm. Yep. You probably have been made to tap it near the middle, but let's play on. Old train. So the old firm now finally get it into the opposing side's half. Pete dancing, Pete having a dance, and a, oh, it's a good pass. There's an opportunity there. He's to get Danny, straightens the attack. And he goes the kick, he's going to go back to the uh, blind side. It's a beauty if Josh Wright can pull it in. Oh, but uh, Cohen's got it. And GHR survive again. Lewis. Delaney. Probably been the man of the match for mine. Good tackle from Danny. Here's Cass. Oh, and there's a kick. Not really going for yards, though. Uh, and Danny takes it. And Danny gets Brown. One. Gets to the halfway. So a chance for the old firm to launch an attack here. They need to try desperately. Oh, goes back inside. And here's Josh Wright. If he can get in the clear, he's got some toe. He's uh, Hayden. Oh, great. I'll cut out. Here's Danny, though. But, oh, he's eaten up by Vince Hammond. You mind you, Vince is probably half his age. Jack McGee goes back to the blind for Danny. But, again, Hammond's too quick in the cover. Good signs for the old firm, though. This has probably been their best set of the game. Okay, what will he do? He's going to put a little kick in, but it's oh, Lewis. Joel Lewis. Having a real impact on this game. Oh, and he's Hammond. He's in open space. This is where the old firm's got to be careful. They've shown that they can really open up on the uh, after it restart. Great tackle from the Coltrane. Can they settle it down here? McMaster, he's looking good. Delaney, that's got through. And I think it was touched by Lewis over the over the line. Well, actually, they're saying that was uh, knocked out by the old firm. So it's a line dropout. There it goes out to McMaster at the halfway line, and he'll bring it back. The old firm's uh, defensive line, a bit jagged there. Hayden's finally got into it there, but they're looking uh, dangerous here, GHR. They could go ahead 6-0. Lewis. Cohen. Love John. Delaney. McMaster almost in for his first try of the series, but uh, well taken by uh, Gibbo. 
Oh, here's another, another little kick. It's a dinky one. Pete takes it and gets it away. And he's going to get him for playing off the mark, I think. So GHR goes straight back onto the attack. Oh, here's an opportunity. The line was up. A lack of communication amongst the old firm, and it's 6 0. So uh, Delaney's third try, 6 0. Shell shocked old firm. That's a nice little kick, but uh, it's well taken by Lovejohn. Lewis. Gee, he's a very solid uh, player, Lewis. Not the quickest bloke, not the youngest bloke. Reminds me of a Graham Holling from the 1970s. Da Delaney, it's, he's a really uh, run the show out there tonight. Love John, love John. Running freely, the old firm's morale looks to be somewhat broken. Lewis draws his man, Delaney gets it on to McMaster and McMaster's in the corner. So McMaster's first try in the series, much deserved, and it's out to 7-0 now. The biggest margin we've seen all season. The old firm absolutely shell-shocked today. Missing Brad Arinelli, he was a big out. Hayden is still a bit, well he's gone to fullback, uh, which is interesting um, and unnecessary, I would have thought. Maybe on the last or the second last, that might be a good idea, but it's going to come up into the line now. That's the fourth, will they kick early, Delaney, he doesn't need to kick, he'll just run in the gaps. Cohen, that's uh, another little chip kick and trouble for um, Coltrane and I think that will be a line dropout. Then he'll go, he'll go short. Well the short dropout, I must admit the rule's been a bit blurry there about whether it has to go to the quarter line or the 10 metre line but we are trying to play as much rugby league rules as possible. That's a messy uh, play the ball and the old firm again can't get out of their own area. GHR looking for their eighth try and it doesn't look far away but uh, an error there. Well the old firm got the fall back there and it instantly dropped it. Here's a chance for them to score again but an error. Oh that's better. Some yards. They need to get the yards and then get to their kick and belt it downfield. Well, oh, that's nicely out to Danny. These are good yards. Oh, he's passed a late pass there, I think. And it will be a handover. At least they got it over, over the halfway. That's one. Delaney. It's been a problem all day with his quick darts. The extremely intelligent... Joel Lewis. Oh, that's a very dubious pass. I had a good uh, look at that, and the referee was all over it. So Jack McGee. Oh, he goes back, uh, very rugby league style, to the um, full back stroke half back. Oh, nice pass, he's McGee. Back to um, Josh Wright. Cold trainer dummy half. What can Jack McGee come up with? Nice little pass into uh, Cold Train. Now Josh looks to set up Hayden. Or oh, Hayden with the through the legs pass, but I think one of his thighs might have got in the way, or was it touched? He's saying it was touched by an opposition player. Um, no, they are going to hand it over. Joel Lewis. Oh, and 
and there's a mistake, chance for the old firm. They need to get a try, just just for their morale, just to enjoy the game more. I think the, the grand final is gone. So they want to at least have a respectable finish to the season with about 10 or so minutes to go. Dancing Pete. Dancing Pete. He has a dance. He likes to dance. It's in the dummy half. With Danny. Oh, nice, uh, nice offload. Oh, he called it forward. That was un that was unlucky. Uh, well, they conceded that one. The captain's challenge was successful. Oh, he, Coltrane was running into a hole here. Here's a chance. Coltrane goes the other way, but they'll get six again. Puts it down. Oh, and he's just dropped it cold. Well, this is the sort of standard we are looking for. We we don't expect to be NRL standard. We're just trying to uh, come up with a, a form of game which is entertaining for the players and which encourages participation for young and old and male and female and uh, any other uh, denomination. Oh, he's a nice run from uh, Hayden. It could be the try they've been looking for. And there it is. Joshy right in the corner. And it's 7-1. Is there time? No, there is not. There's about 10 to go, though. So there goes the kick off. He's gone for the deeper kick. and uh... Oh, there's a nice... Oh, there's some vintage, uh, vintage Hayden Bushel. The old firm have Steyer written on their back because of their great player, Paul Parker, the Steyer, who unfortunately passed away a few years ago. So they're sort of the old firm Steyers. Steyer would have been uh, not happy with this performance. It wouldn't be 7-1 though, I tell you. He would have saved several of the tries, especially in his peak. Oh, it's play on. It's play on. It's still play on. It's still play on. Joshy to dummy half, nicely done. Here he goes, gets out of dummy half well and gets the ball away to Danny. That's not the first time he's put Danny away in the last few minutes, but again, was that oh, last tackle, was it? Forward. Forward. No, it's last. It's last. <laughs> and this is what they've done better than the old firm all day. Hitting the ball up, playing it tight. Playing the percentages. And this is a great set. The defence has been okay in this set, but the, the attacking play has been very, very solid. Now they give it to Delaney to create. Back into Cohen. We must be coming up to the last tackle, are we? Yes, we are. There's a, an interesting kick. Chance for Danny. What has he got? Oh, Delaney. That's it, what he's got. A, a problem with Delaney. The pass is a loose one. Was it touched? Gibbo, has got to give it. They've got to get it out here. They've got to get it out. Uh, well, I thought he, I thought the marker was a bit offside there, and that forced the error. But it's going to be a jay trouble. He's a wrap. Oh, Delaney. So time ticking away. It's probably about five or six to go. I'm hoping my timekeeper does return. Dancing beat. Gets the advantage line. Oh, well, he's been... monstered out of that one. The touch had been made before the ball was jolted free by the defending player in the collision. Here's Hayden, he goes for the left, puts it on the big left foot step. 
That's rugby league. Yes, that's rugby league. 1908 style. This. Jack McGee. Oh, we put it down again. The old firm, can they at least win the second half? They're down 2 1 in the second half. Oh no, oh dear, oh dear, one of those days. It's like St George in 1975. Here's a good chance where they got extra players out there, they got the numbers. Here's Joel Lewis. He's got an extra number there and Hayden knocks it away. Had to do it. So six again. And the old firm hat show a bit of uh, steel in defence here. The line is right up. And Danny's beaten as I thought he might be. And that's a try to Cohen. That's a Cass, I mean Cass. In the corner and it's 8-1. Well I've missed the kickoff there and Lewis is returning it with interest. The old firm has really uh, unravelled somewhat here. Here's Cass. He could be on again here if they, Hammond is free out on this side. Then he's gone off the far side. And here's Gibbo! Gibbo's away! Gibbo's away! Oh, he had the quickest guy on the field behind him. Old train. Oh, beautiful hit up. Beautiful, beautiful hit up. Beautiful to watch. And here come, they come from deep. That's better from the old firm. They've been doing that all game. Gibbo just went on and he's had enough. Cool. Oh, oh, it is a chance if it bounces, it does! He's in! Oh, what a try! No, he was good. He was good, I've got it on video. Great try, probably the try of the match. And it's 8-2. 8-2. 8-2 with three to go. And at least the score's a bit more respectable than it looked like being. It's still the biggest margin of the year. The biggest margin of the year before this was Old Firm 7, JHR 2, and the early lost ball here. Oh, it's a good defence. Can they get another try? I wouldn't be surprised. The old firm's defence looks a little bit more solid on this occasion. Lewis impressive. Delaney, Delaney. Oh, intercept! Intercept from Hayden Bushel. What has he got? I don't think he can get there. Hammond's always the one that gets in the way when they get these. Well, he's still going. But no. But that was uh, classic Hayden Bushel. They needed that a bit earlier in the game. Coltrane will take a hit up here. And can they try and set at least for their kick? Although Hayden's probably out of action with that run. Dancing Pete. Dancing Pete. He'll have a dance. He'll dance. He'll take his time. That's the fourth, I think. Fifth and last. They want to get a kick in here if they can. Dancing Pete with the kick. Oh, it's not bad either, but it's going to be easily taken by Love John in the end goal. And it'll be a 20 metre restart with a seven tackle set. 45 seconds to go. 45 seconds to go. <laughs> 30 seconds. And it's gone loose. Count it down, Daniel, how long? 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. 
Ten seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three. There goes the kick for the corner. Kimo, will he get there? No! Oh, the heavy, the heavy's gone on him. Unbelievable scenes. And that's full time. Oh, what a tragic end for Gibbo and for the old firm. But they've lost 8 2. GHR too good on the day. And there it is, the first ever televised game of NRL Touch. And we hope to get some more teams joined next year. We're looking for players of all standards because it does add a lot of variety to the game. And we better now go and give Gibbo some medical attention.